the living God. I want to take this time and opportunity to thank all of you for uh, being here tonight as we do the evening sessions for tonight. Uh, we uh, got a little bit of delay due to technical issues. However, we want to thank God that um, we still have time that we will be able to, to meet and do uh, sorry, the work of God with regard to the sessions that we are meant to do uh, in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I want to um, continue um, and, you know, bringing enlightenment and teaching with regard to um, the uh, second miracle that Jesus did at Cana of Galilee. Uh, where a nobleman who had uh, a sick son uh, came in and um, seek his intervention with regard to um, healing of the son. So before we get to the healing of the son, I want to um, um, glean some important things uh, before we get to the issues of healing, before we get to the healing of the son and what happened when the son was being healed and so on and so forth and the things that led to the healing of the son. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, just before we go very, very far, I want us to read our scriptures for tonight and uh, we we look at um, a few verses uh, in the book of John chapter 4. We are going to read... Um, uh, verse 46 the book of John chapter 4 we're going to read verse 46 and this is what the Bible says so Jesus came again to Cana of Galilee where he had uh, made the water wine and there was a certain man uh, whose son was sick at Capernaum Capernaum you know and so he, he, he had a son who was sick in another town and then uh, he heard that Jesus was in Cana of Galilee and then he came at the city of uh, at the town of Cana of Galilee to implore Jesus to come and heal his sick son however the Bible says that uh, you know in the process of um, the, 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 the son, uh, you know, being very, very sick, the father decided to take it upon him to uh, implore the son of God to come into, you know, their home and say a word of prayer for the son to be healed. And we have noted here that the first miracle that Jesus did was at Cana of Galilee. And the second miracle that Jesus is doing is, is doing it at the exact spot, scriptures say, at the exact area the exact town, the exact place, the same place where he did the first miracle. So from the first miracle to the second miracle, there is a place of location. And I've, 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 I've outlined earlier today the issues of location, you know, matters regarding um, um, location in terms of, you know, in, you know, you know the geographical locations and things locked within, you know, your grace and the geographical place. And how important is it that we've got to be in in the right and you know proper geographical place for certain things to you know to start to happen so i want to continue on the same note you know dealing with the issues of geographical place and then before i i, I move into the second part of what i want to deal with tonight i first want to wrap up the geographical issues or geographical location when god uh, you know you know created adam he sent him to a place called the garden of eden put him in a place called the garden of eden planted him at the garden of eden the bible says that in that garden there were four rivers and in one of the rivers there was gold um, you know you know in one of the rivers the bible says that this river went all around the land of avila and this land of avila there was gold in that land so whenever god puts you in a particular geographical location all the things you need need for your needs to be met are logged up in that place. I want to say that again. When God puts you in a particular geographical location, God gives you the resources you need to make it in that particular place. Number two, when God plants you and you know, put you in a particular geographical location, He gives you the grace to survive the area and to, to, to be able to, you know, to be able to deal with the challenges of the area. When God puts you in a particular geographical 
geographical location. He does not just put you in that place graceless. He put upon you the grace to be able to survive the challenges and the things with regard to that area. In other words, you are basically given the grace for the area. You are going to be given favor for that particular area. You will have favor with men and favor with God in, in a particular geographical location. And it doesn't happen in any place. It doesn't happen in all the places. There are specific locations in all our lives where, you know, things that I'm talking about happen. So, every successful person, every successful person, and every person who is walking in a clear manifest measure of blessing, understand the issues of being accurate in terms of, you know, of geographical location. God locks your blessing in a particular geographical location. God locks your blessing in a particular geographical location. Your personal blessing is not everywhere. Your personal faith is not everywhere. It is linked to a particular geographical location. So that is what we learn, you know, you know, from number of people in scripture. When God called Abraham from the book of Genesis chapter 12, and he told him to come out of his people and to come out of his country, go to the land that I will show you. I want you to come out of your people. I want you to come out of your country. I want you to come out of, you know, the, the activities that are going on amongst your people and go into the land that I will show you. And when Abraham arrived at the land that God wanted him to be at, God says to Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 12, if you read it, you, you will hear God saying that to you and to your descendants, I will give this land. God was pointing to a particular piece of land. God was pointing to a particular piece of land. As for Abraham, there was a particular geographical location that God wanted him to be at that location. And he said that in blessing, I will bless you, and I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. This is the beginning of you know the 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 the, 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 the apostolic journey of, of of Abraham. So God called him out of a particular location, and he said that there are things that I will never do when you are still in this location. I want you to move out of this location, go into a particular accurate location, not any place you feel like going, not any place where everybody is going to, but I want you to go into a particular geographical location in that when you get into this particular place, you and your descendants, I will give you that particular land. So in other words, in terms of what we learn from the father of faith, we learn that geographical location matters. Accuracy in issues of geographical location matters. You you you, you cannot miss this. You, you, might, you might carry the, the, you know, the, the right flavor of anointing. You might carry the right content. You might carry the right heart. But if you miss geographical location, you are still inaccurate. So therefore, it is very, very important that you, you, you station yourself in the particular accurate geographical location where God wants you to be. If he wants you to be in Mesopotamia, be in Mesopotamia. If he wants you to be in the land of Canaan, Abraham, be in Canaan. There are dimensions that God will not be able to manifest and release upon your life if you, you are geographically dislocated, geographically out of touch with the accurate geographical position where God wants you to be. So, so, so if God wants you to be in a particular city, you might visit other cities and function and, you know, you know, you know from time to time and, and still, you know, be using, you know, a particular city as your base. In other words, for every grace carrier, there must be a particular base, which is geographical. There must be a particular base, which is geographical. You you cannot be baseless. You cannot be, you know, you know, you know, a grace carrier who does not have a geographical location. I'm not talking about a church building. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, a particular location where you are based. And that location is not just a location location, you know, where you've been, you know, you know, biologically born. It might be that you are born in this city, but God does not want you in that city, just like Abraham. Abraham has been born in Mesopotamia, but God says, move out of Mesopotamia, move out of the land of the Chaldeans and go into the land that I will show you. There is a land, there is a geographical location that God must reveal to you so that the things that are supposed to manifest to you and, and in you and around you for you and for your children will begin 
began to manifest. This does not just happen only to apostolic leaders. It, it happens to all of us. This is, this, is, this is what all of us as believers must get and must understand. Geographically, you must be accurate. Geographically, you must be accurate. You cannot, you cannot carry, you know, a particular, you know, a particular heart of God and still miss the geographical location. Even when you do a study in the ministry of Jesus, Jesus had a particular area which was his own base, which was his own base. You know, you know, so geographically, you've got to be accurate. And that is what we learn from Abraham. That is what we learn from the second miracle of Jesus, that there are open heavens that do not happen and occur everywhere. They occur at a particular geographical location. So geographically, you've got to be accurate. You might be accurate doctrinally. You might be accurate spiritually. But still, God will want you to be accurate geographically. You know, the man by the name of Adam has to be geographically accurate and be in the accurate garden. So the garden of Eden is not something mental. The garden of Eden is not something spiritual. It was a particular geographical location that this man has to find himself in that location. So it is key, it is important for us, ladies and gentlemen, that geographically as grace carriers, geographically as grace carriers, we do not find ourselves, you know, you know out of touch because you, you might struggle, you might miss certain kind of, you know, dimensions of blessing and, and, and success that God wants you to. And there's nothing wrong with being successful. There's every, you know, there's nothing wrong with being blessed. There's nothing wrong with being successful. You know, be, be geographically accurate and all these things shall easily flow to you. All these things shall easily flow to you. When you are geographical out of touch with places that God wants you to be, even blessing, the flow of material blessing, the flow of spiritual blessing, the flow of apostolic grace, the flow of anointing dries up. No, because you know what you carry is not meant for everywhere. What you carry is not for you know, it's not meant for everyone. Even when Jesus gave the dimension of the spirit to, 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 to his apostles, 120, he, he, he was very specific in terms of places they must go to. He was very specific in terms of where they must go to. So geographically, you've got to be accurate. Geographically, you've got to be in the right place. There are churches that are not growing because they're geographically out of the place that God wants them to be. There are businesses that are struggling because, because the, 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 the enter Entrepreneur is geographically out of the place where God wanted him to be. So God says to Abraham, I want you to move from geographical place, this place, location A, move to location B. Your prayer must be God. Which place is meant for me? My prayer must be Lord, reveal to me a place that is literally meant for me and all that I carry. And you will discover, once you discover this particular place, you will discover that everything about you is actually fitting and very suitable for a particular location. You are not meant for every city. You are not meant for every nation. Even when God gives you, you know, a mandate for the nation, you are, you are not meant to go to any nation you feel like going. You are not meant to go to every city you feel like going. There are specific geographical locations you are meant to, and you will also tell when you are in those places that there is, there is, there is an unspeakable flow of grace. There is an, un, and there is an uncommon flow of grace grace that comes upon you and the heavens open even wider when you are in those places but try it out when you are in the right in the wrong place geographically a lot of things will go wrong so geographically, you've got to be spot on. Geographically, you've got to be accurate. Don't miss geographical issues with regard to what you carry, with regard to the dimensions of grace that you carry. You've got to be very, 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 very important. There is a place meant for you. Be in that place. There is a city meant for you. Be in that place. There is a town meant for you. Be in that place. Some of you are not supposed to be moving to, you know, you know, cosmopolitan areas and these bigger metros and bigger cities. You've got to be faithful and stay in the place where God wants you to be. Even if the city is not popular, even if there is nothing much going on in that city in terms of economic activities, but if you're faithful enough to stay in that area, the Lord is able to serve, to cause you to, 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 to survive and send the ravens. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, God is able to sustain you. Be 
sorry, be accurate geographically and stuff will start to flow and things will start to happen. So now the issue then will then be how do then I know that I'm geographically accurate? How do I know that I'm geographically accurate? One of the reasons, one of the ways in which God will make it very clear to you that you are meant for this place is that he will communicate with you. He will tell you that this is the place that you've got to be. This is the place that you've got to be. He says this to Jacob. Jacob, I'm the God of Bethel. I want you to rise, go to Bethel, stay there, dwell there, and build for me an altar there. So God was very, very specific in terms of in terms of where Jacob need to put his tent, where he need to plant his tent. So, so Jacob had to move from point A to point B because God wanted Jacob to be in a particular geographical location. Genesis 35 verse 1. So the, 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 when it comes to this, God becomes very specific. He says this to Peter. Peter, I want you to rise, go into the sea, cast in the hook. The first fish you catch is going to be having money in its mouth. There is a geographical place with your provision. There is a geographical place with what God wants you to, to, to do, you know, to access. You will not access a measure of blessing everywhere. You will not access a measure of provision everywhere. You will not access a measure of favor everywhere. D don't move because there is, there is, there is, there is a trend where in everybody is moving to a particular location. Be accurate in terms of where God wants you to be. And in order for you to be accurate, you've got to be, you've got to be listening to the Lord in terms of, Lord, where do you want me to be? And God will communicate that to you. And the, one of the ways he does that is that he does that through, 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 through what? Through, through, through the, 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 the you know, through the prophetic faculties and, you know, you know models of, of, of hearing that you are familiar with. With. So he will reveal to you in terms of where you need to be and don't miss that part. Don't miss that part. Don't miss that part. He will come at the level of your hearing and reveal to you where basically you need to be. So don't miss that part. And God is faithful. He will not want you to assume. He will not want you to know to, to, to do it by trial and error. To say, okay, let me try it here. If it doesn't work here, let me move to city B. If city B doesn't work, let me pack my bags, move to city D. No, God is faithful. He will reveal to you where you basically need to be. He came to he came to Jacob and said, Jacob, I want you to arise here. Go to city A. Go to Bethel. I want you in a particular location. He was very particular. He was very particular. So, so, so my prayer is that God must also communicate this to you, you know, specifically and in a, in a very particular way that you do not miss this. And he will do it in a way you will understand it. He will do it in a way you will keep his voice and understand that this is basically where he wants me to be because he doesn't want you to be everywhere nobody is omnipresent nobody is supposed to be omnipresent in terms of the graces and dimensions that we carry there is nobody who is supposed to be omnipresent you've got to be in a particular geographical location you might operate in other places and so on and so forth but let there be a particular location where it is your own Rama, it is your own Shiloh, it is your own Bethel, it is your own Canaan. And God has spoken something about a particular piece of land. So don't be in a place where God never said to anything to you about. Don't build anything in a place where God never said anything to you about. Now ask yourself when you are in a particular geographical location, what did God say to me about me and this land? What did God say, you know, about me and this land. So if God has not said anything to you about you and that particular area where you want to establish things, be very cautious and ask him, where do you want me to be? Which area is my Bethel? God says to Jacob, arise and go to Bethel. You've got to find your own Bethel. You've got to find your own corner of Galilee, where in things will happen without struggling. Things will happen with simplicity. Things will happen without out sweat. There is a particular place meant for you in that regard and in that dimension. So do not miss that particular location. So that is very, very important. And, and, and once you start to find this place, you will discover that this geographical location is able to accommodate you and everything about you. I want to say this again. The, the, the accurate geographical location where God wants you to be, the place will accommodate you and everything about you. You will discover that the place is 
is meant for you and you are meant for the place. I want to say that again. When you are accurate in terms of a particular geographical location where God wants you to be, one of the signs is this, is that you will discover that the place is basically meant for you and you are meant for the place. You are you might not be the only one in your functioning in that place. You might not be the only one running things in that place. You might not be the only one staying in that place. But you will discover that those of you who are meant to be there, you will discover that you are carrying a particular, you know, a particular thing in you that is suitable for that place. The place is suitable for you and you are suitable for the place. And even the, the very thing, the very personality you have is very accurate and very suitable for that place. One of the things that if I have to really, really break it so you know, at a particular level for you to get is this, is that one of the signs that you are geographically accurate is that even your physical body, you will discover that even your physical body is able to survive and able to adopt to the conditions of the place. If the place, for example, is, 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 you know, is having a particular temperature, you will discover that even your physical health is able to survive and is able to endure, is able to do well in that particular location. And, and when you are in that place, you'll discover that you, health-wise, you also don't struggle. Health-wise, you also do well. So be accurate geographically. You'll discover that all these dimensions are easier to manifest and there is there is a dimension of, of you know, of, of, of blessing like what happened in Genesis 26 where Isaac functioned in a particular level of blessing that could not happen in any other place. So he is in the city of Gera. He is in, in the land of the Philistine. And God says, I want you to be in this place. I want you to be in this place. And three levels of prosperity hit him. Check out every place where blessing happen with no sweat. If you are in a particular geographical location right now, and for you to make it, and you are eating actually the bread of sorrows in that place, you are actually eating the bread of sorrows in that place, and results comes out by sweating. You are eating the bread of sorrows in a particular location. My friend, you are in a wrong place. I want to say that again. If you are, if you are, if you are in a particular city right now, and you are actually securing results, but then the success you are getting and the measure of results you are getting and the fruits you are having in that particular city are coming out of much sweating and much sorrows, you are geographically dislocated. You are out of touch and you are inaccurate. Find a place where you will not eat the bread of sorrows. Find a place where you will not eat the bread of sorrows. Find a city where you will not eat the bread of sorrow. Find a village where you are not going to eat the bread of sorrows. Find, you know, a place where you are not going to sweat when everybody is sweating. I want to read for you, you know, a, a verse and then we, we you know we, we deal with the dynamics of that verse and then we close. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 127 verse 2, it is in vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For he gives his beloved sleep. I want to explain this in the context of what we're dealing with, the issues of geographical location. Now, one of the things that you've got to understand is that there, there are two people involved in that verse. Number one, there are those that are eating the bread of sorrows. And there are those that God calls them beloved and he's, he's giving them rest and sleep. In your location where you are right now, there are two groups of people. There are those that are eating, you know, the bread of sorrows in that city. The bread of sorrows is results that comes out of much sweating and much struggling and much pushing and much forcing and, you know, much unnecessary hard labor. And people do will still get results out of that. However, 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 the difference is right in that place where you are, there are also those whom God calls them their ability. The beloved. Now, the beloved, God gives them rest. God gives them sleep. So even in, in, in you know, you know, you know, you know, that in that location that you're in, check these two individuals. You'll find that there are people who are finding it easier to survive and to live in that city. And then there are also those that are struggling. Check it out in all areas. Check it out in all areas, spiritually and otherwise. You'll discover that there are people who are entrepreneurs.
entrepreneurs in your city. And these entrepreneurs are really eating the bread of sorrows. There are churches right in your city who are really eating the bread of sorrows. The church is growing, but the growth is coming out of sorrows. Everything is sorrow. You know, revelation, sorrow, wisdom, sorrow, you know, blessing, sorrow, marriage, sorrow, you know, growth, sorrow. Everything is coming out of much sweating and much foreseeing and so on and so forth. However, there are people that are right where you are and these ones are at rest and God calls them beloved. There is a place where God calls you beloved and in the place where God calls you beloved, you get things with simplicity. You get sweatless victories. You, there is sweatless success. There is sweatless breakthrough. There is sweatless, you know, you know, dimension of blessing that yes, you will still do function, but you, you, you are different from a man who is doing with, you know, you know, you know, you know, with, 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 with sorrows. So don't be in a city where you will eat bread of sorrows. Don't be in a city where you will eat results of sorrows. Don't be in a region where, you know, you will get success of sorrows, bread, which is a result. Bread here is result. Then, then, then God gives, you know, his beloved sleep and in their sleep rest. They are able to secure results with simplicity, with no struggle and they make it look so easy. You've got to find a place where victory come without stress. Victory breakthrough, you know, miracles, healing, you know, revelation, flow of resources come with no sorrow. If you are to if you are to enjoy the blessing and result with much sorrow, you've got to question, you've got to question if you are geographically in the right place. When you are geographically in the right place, ravens come. The Bible says that God sent ravens to Elijah. You know you are in the right place when God used unlikely people and unlikely faces to bring to you dimensions of blessing that you know, you know, you know, under normal circumstances, they should not be bringing this to you. But 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 you find that even 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 you know even unlikely faces are doing good to you. You 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 know you are in the right place, you know you are accurate in terms of geographical location when unlikely sources and unlikely people, uncommon people, unusual people do good to you. When sinners, even sinners, to a point of sinners defending you, you know you are geographically accurate. When sinners also protect the very thing you are doing and protect what you are doing and you are covered. However, when you are in a wrong place geographically, you will struggle. The results you will have are the result of sorrows. The results you will have are the results of forcing. Never, you are not supposed to have forced success. You are not supposed to have forced the breakthroughs. You are not, yes, we do understand dynamics of faith and all of that. But watch it out, you know, you cannot be consistently forcing things to happen. You cannot be consistently forcing things to happen. What, when will you come to a dimension where even in your rest, things are happening at, you know, you know, to, to your own good and for your own good and you know, for your own, you know, you know, you know, good. So there is a place where things are supposed to be like that. Geographically, you know, geographically, there is a place where miracles are supposed to happen with no stress. Miracles are supposed to happen with no headache. Miracles are supposed to happen with no forcing. Where in, you know, uncommon people do good to you. Uncommon and unlikely people, I mean, can, can you imagine ravens of all the of all the birds ravens these are meat eaters these are meat eaters who eat exactly what they're giving to Elijah they eat exactly what they're giving to Elijah you know you are in the right place when people who who basically for themselves and by their own nature they are greed by their own nature by their own nature they are not they are not supposed to be doing good to you but somehow they're doing good to you somehow they are releasing stuff to you. Somehow there is an uncommon favor. God communicates with this kind of signs. When you are in a place where you are given uncommon favor, do not move out of that place until the Lord say move. When you are in a place where God gives you uncommon favor, stay right in that place where ravens are coming, bringing in the bread, bringing in the meat. These are meat eaters who are supposed to eat, you know, what you are being given. So you know that it is God when, 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 when uncommon faces and uncommon people are bringing a measure and a dimension of favor to you, stay in places like this. Now, it is very critical and very important that geographically you must be accurate so that you don't miss, you don't miss the coming of, the coming of, the coming, come on, 
Lord. The coming of the coming of ravens. They are ravens that are designed to do good to you. They are they are ravens that are designed to do good to you. Remember in Genesis 22, there is a man by the name of Abraham in Mount Moriah. The Bible said that Abraham found a ram caught in the thicket. You are not going to find a ram caught in the thicket everywhere. You've got to be in the accurate place. You've got to be in the right spot. You've got to be in the right place. These dimensions do not manifest everywhere. So they are they are they are levels of provisions and levels of favor that God does not unveil and release for you. There are those that are eating bread of sorrows. There are those that are eating results of sorrows. There are those that are doing ministry of sorrows. There are those that are doing you know, there are those that are moving, you know, out of sorrows and they are securing results out of sorrows. However, when God wants you to be geographically in a particular place, results happen without sorrows. Healing happen without struggle. Results come with no struggle. And I'm not saying don't apply other principles that can secure results. But, you know, you must be, co you must be concerned when you are consistently forcing results to happen. Consistently forcing things to happen. Consistently, consistently forcing. We call it the brain of sorrows. Psalms 127 verse 2. There is a place where you are not supposed to eat the bread of sorrows. There is a geographical location linked with the dimension of grace you carry. God says to Abraham, I want you to go to a particular place. When he arrives in that, when he arrives in that spot of, you know, in that piece of land, God says, aha, this is the place. Aha, this is the place. When you are in the right place, God will tell you, this is the place. Don't be tricked and move out of that place. Don't be taken out of that place. Stay in that place up until the Lord allows you to move and move further to a place, you know, to, to, to another place. But stay in the geographical location that carries your fish with the money in its mouth. The fish with the money in its mouth for Peter was not everywhere. There was a particular geographical location where Peter has to go. The, in other words, the provision was linked to a particular geographical location. So that is very, very important and you are you are you are to find this place that is meant for you a place you are meant for you are not meant for everywhere you are not meant for every city you are not meant for every village you are not meant for every nation find a nation meant for you find a city meant for you and stick there stay right there you will start to see uncommon things taking place you will start to see uncommon open heaven taking place there is a dimension of uncommonness and unusual things you will never see until you land in the right geographical spot and God was clear to Elijah go to at the right place, go to the brook of Cherith, find your own brook of Cherith, find your own land of Canaan, find your own Bethel, find your own city of Gerar God is particular about this, when you are in this particular place, one of the things that will happen when you are in that particular place, you will discover that, you know, you know, you know, even, even you've got a particular love for the people of that area and the people of that area have a particular love for you you will discover that everything about you fits in like the hand and a glove fit in accurately perfectly you know you know all the things that happens in that city and all the things that you are about to fit in and they are meant for each other find a place like that my friend and you will start to see things happening discover your own geographical place one of the reasons why we are carrying you know, a mantle of miracles, signs and wonders, and miracles are not happening and, and as they are supposed to happen, is that geographically we are out of touch. Geographically we are out of touch. What is it that the Lord said about you and where you are? What is it that the Lord said about you and where you are? If you are accurate geographically, you will start to see breakthroughs that are unusual. You will start to see things happening. But if you are in a place that God never said anything about and you find yourself locked up in that place and, 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 and geographically you are you know, out of touch, you, you will struggle. You will eat the bread of sorrows. So let, let's see. Let's 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 close. Let's close uh, this particular session. Some geographical place uh, where you, where we are, there is no supply of dimensions. There is no supply of favor. Find a place where God is supplying things out of His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. There is a place. There is a place. There is a place. You, you know, there is a place where you do very well. Stick in that place. Don't be taken out of that place. There is a place where geographically you do very well consistently. 
be in that place consistently be in that place consistently be in that place finally when you are in the right geographical location there's always a confirmation that you are at home there is there is a, there is always a confirmation that you are at home and everything about you settles and rests now when when there's there, when there's no rest in terms of where you are and and you are unable to survive you know the spiritual issues of that place and you don't even have grace for the city that you're in uh, you are you are geographically out of touch in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I want to leave it here uh, for tonight. And um, when you go to sleep and rest, um, I will be loading other kinds of stuff um, uh, that I have. I've just received my, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, files that I've left, you know, in another city, and they've been sent to me here today. And I will be loading them on my youtube channel and so just visit our youtube channel check it out subscribe it and share it with friends and 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 so on and so forth there is a there, there is a right geographical place that is meant for you find it discover it you will have sweatless breakthroughs you will have breakthroughs with no sweat you will have blessing with no sweat you will have victories with no sweat god wants you to be in a place where things happen with no struggle in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ the son of the living God. God bless you so very much. I want you to, uh, to, to rest and then tomorrow we continue to function and, 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 and serve and continue to dish out the word of the Lord. Geographically, don't be out of touch. There is a place which is your corner of Galilee where miracles happen with no struggle, where results happen without, without force, where results happen without struggling. The Lord bless you so very much. I love you and I'll see you soon. Amen.